development is to create an enabling environment for people to enjoy long, healthy and creative lives. Unquote. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, food security is no longer a local, regional, national concern. Its implication, they transcend boundaries. We have seen that poverty in one country certainly spills its negative implication, they spill over the borders. And since we are passing through an age of globalization, where effects of one country no longer uh, remain localized. So this becomes a kind of international responsibility. We all know that a hungry man is an angry man. And we can expect anything from that angry man. <clears throat> I have the first-hand experience of hunger and poverty while I was serving with United Nations in Sierra Leone. And I have seen what the hunger or poverty or deprivation can cause. The question in the world today is not really the availability of food. As we in Pakistan at the moment, Alhamdulillah, have surplus uh, staple commodities like wheat and rice and others, and we are going to export these. But unfortunately, even within our, within our boundaries, there are people, those who go hungry. So it's not, and so is the situation with the rest of the world. So it's not really the question of availability of food. The question perhaps is that of accessibility to the food uh, in the world. And distribution of food is only a part of the solution. There are merits and demerits of distribution of uh, food. Uh, and I'm sure this learned audience is well aware of. Food security for the planet Earth is our collective responsibility. And we gratefully acknowledge the organizations, the countries, those who are helping uh, the international community in this regard. Uh, as of uh, this event, I like to particularly gratefully acknowledge the contributions of Brazil, World Food Programme, and other uh, organizations who are helping uh, us and international community in this regard. Uh, since I am heading Pakistan Agriculture Storage and Services Corporation, so I like to make a mention of my organization as well. We are also in our humble capacity contributing towards national and regional food security. We are implementing the policies of the government of Pakistan we are extending state welfare to the farmers and we, by keeping uh, stocks of the essential commodities, we also help stabilize prices in Pakistan. We are maintaining national strategic reserves for the country and I am happy to uh, report that we are also maintaining our share of SAC food reserve. So in a way, our organization is contributing towards national and regional food security. <clears throat> what we need to look for are the sustainable solutions for the uh, food security. And what I wish to say is that we need to involve, enable, and empower local communities. We have all heard of uh, saying that give a man a fish and you feed him a day and if you teach him how to fish, you feed him for the life. So that is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, situation. Just distribution of food is perhaps not the solution. I'll conclude uh, by saying that the key element of Zero Hunger Program lies in appropriate combination between so-called structural policies designed to distribute income, promote production, generate jobs, 
foster an agrarian reform and intervention of an emergency nature, often referred to as the compensatory policies. If actions are limited to the latter, while structural policies continue to generate unemployment, concentrate the income and increase poverty, as we are happening, uh, resources are squandered, society is deceived and the problem is perpetuated. I thank uh, the Brazilian Ambassador, His Excellency, uh, Mr. Alfredo Leone for making all the efforts to bring in Brazilian experts to Pakistan. We like to share uh, their experience, we like to hear from them and I will also like to contribute and share our experience. There is a need that organization like PASCO in different regions of the world, they get together and they share their experience and expertise with each other. I'll end my comments by reciting few lines from the poem of Ahmad Nadeem Kasmi. Uh, I'll apologize from those who do not uh, understand our national language, Urdu. Khuda kare ke meri arze paak par utre, wo fasle gul jise andesha e zawal na ho. Yahaan jo phool khile, khila rahe sadiyon, yahaan khizaan ko bhi, گزرنے کی مجال نہ ہو یہاں جو سبزہ اگے وہ ہمیشہ سبز رہے اور ایسا سبز کہ جس کی کوئی مثال نہ ہو گھنی گھٹائیں یہاں ایسی بارشیں برسائیں کہ پتھروں سے بھی روئیدگی محال نہ ہو کوئی ملول نہ ہو کوئی خستحال نہ ہو خدا کرے کہ میرے ایک بھی ہم وطن کے لیے حیات جرم نہ ہو زندگی وبال نہ ہو Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen again in the end Thank you Thank you Major General Taukir for your comments Major General Taukir is a very efficient and dedicated officer and I wish him every success in PASCO Distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen a man who worked very hard, a pleasing personality, a wonderful human being. When I met him, I did not find him as a foreigner or a Brazilian. He was like our Pakistanis. It is none other than Mr. Alfredo Leone, ambassador of the Brazil to Pakistan. Please welcome. Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Mr. Nazal Godal, Federal Minister for Capital Administration and Development Division. Mr. Mozan Chatoy, Minister of State of National Food Security and Research. Major General Tokir, Mr. Ahmad Larry, Secretary of the Ministry of National Food Security and Research, Mr. Abdul Basit, Additional Secretary of the Ministry of National Food Security and Research, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests. I would like to begin by thanking the presence here today of the five Brazilian experts, Ms. Marina Lima, Mr. Vicente Poo, Ms. Cassia Amaral, Mr. Edgar Moura, and Mr. Marcos Lopes. Also, the presence here today of Ms. Cynthia Jones, Deputy Head of the Center of Excellence of the World Food Program, WFP, in Brasilia, Brazil. As well as Mr. Dominique Bordet and Mr. Julius Cesar Warman, of the headquarters of the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, in Rome, Italy. All these experts and representatives have traveled either from Brasilia or Rome exclusively to take part in today's seminar, and I'm very thankful to them for their time and interest. I would like also to thank the Ministry of National Food Security and Research, especially 
the additional secretary, Abdul Basid Han, also Mr. Jean-Luc Sublot, representative of World Food Program in Pakistan, Mr. Kevin Gallagher, representative of FAO in Pakistan, Dr. Iftkar Ahmed, chairman of the Pakistan Agricultural Research Council Park, Dr. Abid Suleri, executive director of Sustainable Development Policy Institute, SDPI, as well as my collaborators at the Embassy of Brazil in Islamabad, especially Second Secretary Gustavo Carneiro and Third Secretary Elena Jornada. Today's seminar is in greater part the result of the sincere interest and hard work of all those I have just mentioned. For me, as the Brazilian ambassador to Pakistan, it is a great honor to be jointly hosting this seminar, as Brazil is being able to tackle food security problems nationally and is ready to share its experience with Pakistan through what is called South-South Cooperation. For many years, Brazil has lived the paradox of being a nation with extraordinary agricultural resources, and yet with millions facing hunger and malnutrition. For that reason, the Brazilian government implemented a program aimed at the integration and coordination of public actions towards the eradication of hunger and poverty. The Zero Hunger Program, created in 2003, has been largely successful and Brazil is defeating hunger, food insecurity, and poverty. Thanks to the Zero Hunger Program, 40 million Brazilians were taken out of poverty in the last decade. Today, more than 55% of the Brazilian population is in the middle classes. The integrated actions of all different Brazilian authorities involved with the implementation of the Zero Hunger Program have allowed a plan and articulated policy aiming at assuring access to the production and consumption of healthy food. It has enhanced income, created jobs, and improved educational conditions, school attendance, health conditions, municipal infrastructure, access to basic sanitation and drinking water. We are aware, however, that there is plenty to be done in these fields, not only in Brazil, but also worldwide. Food security is one of the most pressing issues of our time. Millions of, Brazil, millions of people are suffering from hunger and malnutrition and this, in, at this very moment. Brazil believes that actions should be seriously taken by every country domestically, but also bilaterally and multilaterally. Brazil commends the efforts of all authorities aiming at discussing and raising awareness about food security and poverty alleviation. It makes me extremely proud to see the Zero Hunger battle cry transformed into a global endeavor. And it is reason of great joy to have Pakistan as a partner to fight this battle together with Brazil. The launching last March of the Zero Hunger Action Plan by the Pakistani government shows well that Brazil and Pakistan can indeed work together on this topic. The Pakistani Zero Hunger Action Plan is mostly based on the Brazilian Zero Hunger Program. On the multilateral arena, nevertheless, there is still plenty to be achieved, and hopefully, by working together, we'll be able to establish a hunger-free society. It is important, however, to keep in mind some essential questions, for Brazil cannot separate food security from agricultural trade issues, as international trade, international trade plays a decisive part on the matter. It is widely accepted that the biggest obstacle to a food security world is not the production of food, but the distribution and distortive market mechanisms, which, such as protectionism policies and subsidies adopted by many developed countries. Another important issue is the necessity of support to what is known in Brazil as family agriculture, or smallholder farmers. 
in Brazil, 70% of all the food consumed come from family agriculture. And that should be emphasized in a global scale. By giving support and strengthening gener generation of income for families in rural areas, we are automatically guaranteeing their nutrition security and boosting the rural production as multi-cropping is a common feature of family agriculture. It is also important to highlight the necessity to increase and improve agriculture productivity. The development of agriculture technology is one of the keys to, to sustainability and for achieving food security. In Brazil, thanks to agricultural research institutions such as Embrapa, we are able to multiply the production of food without expanding the use of lands and damaging the environment. This is also an important tool against climate change and ecological imbalance. And I'm confident that the experts and researchers at PARC in Pakistan share this view with me and we are working hard to achieve these goals. All the issues indicated above are interrelated and must be addressed combined with the implementation of domestic policies. International cooperation, multilateral activism, and the development of well-structured social protection policies are the formula to face this massive challenge. In bilateral terms, today's PAC Brazil seminar on food security and poverty alleviation is an important step taken by Brazil and Pakistan to work together on this regard in a groundbreaking initiative that will certainly pave the way for future cooperation between our two countries. I wish you all a very successful seminar. I do hope that today's work and the bilateral talks which will take place between the Brazilian experts and their Pakistani counterparts in the next two days will have an important impact in tackling the major issues of food security and poverty alleviation in Pakistan and in Brazil. Thank you very much. Very soft-spoken personality, very assertive, veteran, seasoned and very experienced politician and every channel wants to listen to his views he is eagerly watered by the media a vast experience behind him has been federal minister for food and agriculture ministry and we are very grateful to him for accepting our invitation today is none other than mr nazar mohammad gondal the federal minister for Capital Administration Development. Please welcome. <clears throat> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mr. Mozam Ali Jatoi, Minister of State for National Food Security and Research. Mr. Alfredo Leoni, Ambassador of Brazil of Pakistan. Mr. Aun Bakshiladi, Secretary, Ministry of Food and Agriculture, sorry, <laughs> Food Security and Research, Major General Toki Ramad, MD Pasco, Mr. Abdul Basad Khan, Addition Secretary, Ministry of Natural Resources, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Facilitations to panelists on head table, media, diplomats, civil society, Organization, especially the co organizer of this workshop, Ambassador of Brazil, Ministry of National Food Security and Research, PRC, SDPI, World Food Program, and Oxfam. <coughs> really, I am very much thankful to the Ministry of National Food Security and Research and Embassy of Brazil for providing me an opportunity to be here and join this August gathering, which would be discussing bilateral cooperation between Pakistan and Brazil on food security and poverty alleviation. This is also my favorite subject. That's why I said I'm really grateful. 
because I am enjoying here with you people, with experts, with farmers, with technicians, and all over the world experts. <clears throat> I am also glad to see the change in paradigm where instead of looking towards developed countries for the solution of issues, we are facing in developing world today. We are, <clears throat> I am, here I am not trying to undermine the developing, development tragedy of, of, trajectory of Brazil. All I am trying to express is my pleasure that developing countries can share these experiences among themselves and learn from each other. Like many developing countries, food insecurity and poverty alleviation was a challenge for Brazil and as you would learn in technical sessions, government of Brazil has overcome that challenge to a larger extent through public measures, through collective action, and through international cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, the areas now part of Pakistan have historically fed the whole of pre-partition India. There is an immense potential for food crops production, and we have tried to further enhance this potential. For decades, agriculture remained the backbone of our economy. Even today, it is contributing almost 21% of our economy. Even today, it is, sorry, Pakistan is among top 10 producers of wheat in the world. Along with Indian Punjab, we are the house of world famous Basmati rice. We are the sixth largest milk producers in the world and not only export grains but fruits and vegetables too. Self-sufficiency in food production has lessened the negative impact of global food and financial crisis in Pakistan. We believe that agriculture and we believe that agriculture led growth is highly effective in reducing poverty in sustainable basis. It, all, it all helps in raising farm income and generating foreign exchange. A vibrant agriculture sector therefore offers enormous opportunity to reduce food insecurity and hunger. The government is focusing on enhancing agriculture growth by introducing pro-farmer policies which enhance farm profitability, various policy interventions by the government have led to major turnaround in food production and we have not and we have got feeding from wheat imports, rather we are exporting it now. A number of interventions have been planned for enhancing food production, which include water sector, development through construction of smart dams, improvement of canals and water courses, promotion of high efficiency irrigation systems, and land leveling raised bed technologies. The government wheat export price policy is showing very encouraging results. Implementation is also underway on the, on the phased special program for food security and productivity enhancement of small farmers, which covers 13,000 villages. This program would enable small farmers to adopt techniques for boosting productivity and also facilitate them to enhance their income through value addition. Unfortunately, physical availability of food is not the indicator of food security. In order to be food secure, one requires food in one's socio-economics access. On top of it, one should have access to clean drinking water, sanitation, and health services in order to digest the food consumed. The cumulative effect of global fuel crisis, global fiscal crisis, war on terrorism, and natural disasters erode some of the benefits of food self-sufficiency and threatening food security in the country. Just to quote you an example, the agriculture sector in Pakistan has suffered enormously during the floods of 2010 and 2011. Damages to crops alone were estimated at over rupees 280 billion which not only effect, affected food production, but also the livelihood opportunities and access to food. 
earthquake and floods also effective supply of clean drinking water and other health facilities thus affecting food utilization. Now I repeat the sentence of my dear MD, hunger is an anger. And now I, <coughs> uh, against this uh, saying, the present regime, the democratic government, unlike previous governments, we did not believe in living in state of denial. We recognized the issue and the credit of establishing a dedicated ministry to ensure food security in the country. I can honestly share with you that during the last four and a half years, in most of the cabinet meetings, the cabinet members have been keenly undertaking the suggestions, the question coming from civil society and research and advocacy organization and, uh, and UN on food security and poverty alleviations issues. We have gathered a number of ideas from these recommendations for policy formulation and implementation. We believe that hungry and malnourished people cannot help to develop Pakistan. So we have to strengthen our during fiscal year 2010-11, an amount of rupees 1,247 billion, means 6.91 percent of GDP was spent on various poverty reduction programs. For the protection of poor and vulnerable, the government is providing financial support through different programs. For example, under the Benazir Income Support Program, six million beneficiaries have been identified and some of rupees 50 billion has been allocated to help them out. Federal and provincial governments are not only mobilizing all available resources, but also engaging various bilateral donors and the concerned institutions to handle the situation and help the poor farmers with adequate supply of inputs, <coughs> such as high quality seed, fertilizer, and restocking of animals. To improve the distribution of food in food deficit districts, the Ministry of National Food Security and Research is exploring new mechanism with the collaboration of World Food Program. <coughs> we intend to, pro, to proactively work with provincial governments to map in detail hunger in the country to take essential steps in the near future. Moreover, the government has first time ever formulated food quality and safety bill to ensure food safety and maintain international standard of our products. This should facilitate the agro-business community to export quality food items and thus contribute to countries foreign exchange. National Zero Hunger Program was initiated in this very hall, some government in this very hall. <coughs> some seven months ago by the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, the point I am trying to make is that people's government is committed to do its best to tackle the issue of food insecurity and poverty. We are utilizing all available resources to deliver to the people of Pakistan and would welcome all ideas on how to improve our efforts to ensure food security. I am grateful to the government of Brazil for sending its experts to share their knowledge and valuable experiences with us. Unfortunately, I would have, now I say about my engagements, I would have to leave after this session for other official arrangements. It was my commitment before this program. That is why I am discussing here with you. However, I would request Ministry of National Food Security and Research to share with me the deliberations and recommendations of today's workshop. I wish you an intellectually rich workshop and would recommend the delegation from Brazil to do spare time to visit the beautiful capital of our country. I'm sure their visit would promote 
soft image of Pakistan and remove a lot of negative per perception prevailing in foreign media about Pakistan. Again, thank you very much, Pakistan Zindabad. A very young, energetic minister, perhaps he is holding the youngest minister of state in Pakistan, the title, but he really made the difference in the ministry and under his guidance, our ministry has worked very hard. He enjoys vast experience in the agriculture. He's very knowledgeable and uh, I would request him kindly to come on the stage for the vote of thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mozam Jitoi, Minister of State for Food Security, please welcome. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Respected uh, Nazir Muhammad Gundun, Federal Minister for CAD. His Excellency Alfredo Livni, Ambassador of Brazil to Pakistan, Mr. Ahmed Bash Larry, Federal Secretary for National Food Security and Research, uh, Dr. Uh, Abdul Basit Khan, Addition Secretary, Major General uh, Rauta Kisa, His Excellencies, respected delegates, friends from media, civil society and UN agencies. Assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, Ministry of Food Security and Research is not only working on traditional dimensions of food security, but also it is concerned about new and future challenges. From its creation in October 2011, Ministry is looking for new and innovative ways of solving the present and future challenges of food security in the country. Today's gathering is a step forward in this direction. Let me start with welcoming our friends from Brazil. I am very happy to welcome this group of experts from Brazil. We have invited this group of experts because these experts are working on issues which are of direct relevance for Pakistan. Brazil is one of the major agriculture producers and agriculture production has never a problem for it. Despite this fact, Brazil was considered as a food insecure country in the beginning of 21st century. At the start of this century, about 66 million people in Brazil were food insecure. By, real, by realizing the spectrum of issue and its seriousness, Brazilian government launched an innovative program, Zero Hunger program, to curb food insecurity. During the implementation of Zero Hunger program, government targeted multiple factors and dimensions of food insecurity, including food production, food distribution, purchasing power and poverty, etc. This program was successful in Brazil and it helped reduce the food insecurity and poverty. Now, coming back to Pakistan, apart from the traditional challenges, food security in Pakistan is also facing new challenges including climate change, natural calamities and terrorism. Climate change has become a major challenge to food security in Pakistan. Climate change is not only affecting the production side of food but also the consumption side of food. On production side, productivity of crop and livestock is exhibiting a negative trend due to climate change. On consumption side, health status is impacted due to temperature rise and bad quality of water. In addition to the climate change and has, uh, change has caused different types of disasters in Pakistan. Floods of 2010, 11, and 12 has been quoted an example of climate change-related disasters in Pakistan. 
Owing to these floods, a large number of people got affected and food insecurity and poverty has also increased in Pakistan. War on terror is another area of concern. War on terror has adversely impacted the economy of Pakistan. A large economic infrastructure has been destroyed by terrorist activities. This has resulted in erosion of livelihood, assets, and economic activities of many, Pakistan, many Pakistanis. As a result, the purchasing power of Pakistan has been decreased substantially, which is contribute, contributing to food insecurity in Pakistan. Pakistan is paying the cost of security, the peace, and prosperity of the world through the food security of its people. The Ministry of Food Security and Research is very mindful of these challenges. The Ministry has started to work closely with relevant issues and departments, both at national and international level. The Ministry is also working to build a partnership with new institutions departments and governments. We are also strengthening our department to water down the impact of climate change and terrorism in future. Ladies and gentlemen, let me assure you that the present government of Pakistan is very concerned and focused on problems of common marginalized and excluded group of people. We believe that success of democratic government can only be measured through the lenses of development of people. Therefore, my ministry is trying to solve the problem of food insecurity in Pakistan. Before concluding, I would like to thank Mr. Nadir Mohammad Gondal, Federal Minister for CAD, for sparing his time to grace the occasion. Mr. Gondal has a special link with our ministry as he himself was formerly uh, Minister for Minfa. Our ministry is now only emphasizing the policy framework for increased production, but also for food distribution and access to food. Thus now, ministry along with the old mandate is also working on new areas such as food consumption and poverty. At the end, I would like to thank all dignitaries present here. I would like to especially thank a group of experts from Brazil. They have traveled a long distance to be with us and assist us to combat the challenges of food insecurity in Pakistan. I am looking forward today along workshop and bilateral meetings with the Brazilian experts and would like to assure the recommendations coming from this workshop would be taken very seriously both at the ministry as well as at the cabinet level. We will commit to elevate poverty and erratic hunger from our country. Thank you. His Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a matter of great proud for us that Pakistan, which was suffering for the last few years, we can talk about 2008, when this government took over insufficiency in the grains and sugar, but with wonderful and very charismatic policies of the present regime by increasing the sport prices and the pro-farmers policies which has definitely made this country food sufficient but by merely getting self-sufficiency does not make that we are food secure. Actually this ministry is destined to work hard for making the food accessible 
to each and every needy person in the country. Before I request the Honorable Chief Guest for the cup of tea, I would definitely like to thank my special thanks to World Food, Mr. John Luke sitting here, Mr. Kevin, and of course USDA for their wonderful support, assistance in organizing this special seminar. The seminar is not over as yet. After the tea break, we'll be starting our technical sessions with the cooperation and assistance of the honorable guests from the Brazil. I'm really thankful for all the officers, officials who worked hard for arranging this ceremony, the hotel management, and all the media for coming over to cover this seminar. Now I request the Honorable Chief Guest to move for the cup of tea, entertainment and refreshment, and seminar would continue after half an hour from the tea. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.